His successful debut came nearly six years ago in Brussels at Glory 2 against tonight's opponent. Here is Jafar Wellness. He's the number nine ranked heavyweight contender in glory today, Jafar Wilness. He beat Jamal Sadiq six years ago. How does he do it again, Joe? Well, it's going to have to be with using pressure, and that's how we did it in the first fight. He's got to stay close, really use his boxing and his low kicks. Got to watch out for that power of big man Sadiq. At six feet, nine inches tall, 2.05 meters, he is the biggest man on the glory roster. Here comes Jamal Ben Sadi. the Goliath, Jamal Ben Sadiq, a cancer survivor. He takes every day and lives it to the fullest. He's coming off a 2017 fight of the year performance against Rico Verhoeven. He believes he can beat the champ next time, says he has the formula to do it, but he knows he won't get another shot unless he can beat Jafar tonight. For those of you watching on ESPN in the United States, plenty of post-fight coverage on Sports Center with John Butchagross and Kenny Main. They'll have all the post-fight reactions from Madison Square Garden. It's Linares and Lomachenko, plus the Celtics' Big Four talk about their return, or their run, rather, to the Eastern Conference Finals. Here's our tale of the tape for this heavyweight battle. Jamal the Goliath, Ben Sadiq, six foot nine, 267 pounds. Jafar Wilness, shorter, lighter, and not as long. With professional experience, it's a slight edge for Jafar Wilness. More recently, it's been Sadiq fighting the higher levels, just like his last fight against Rico Verhoeven, but very even match, and I'm excited for this rematch. For the keys to glory for this bout, it's Jamal Ben Sadiq to kind of keep his distance. He wants to stay long to be able to set up his power strikes. And I'd like to see him mix up his kicks and his knees a little bit more. Where Jafar Wilness needs to control the center of the ring. He needs to keep the pressure on. And like he did in his first fight, really look at hitting the body with combinations and finishing with low kicks. Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the heavyweights and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He's a Chinese super heavyweight tournament champion. His professional record, 30 wins with nine losses, one bout scored even, and eight career knockouts. At six feet, five inches tall, 1.95 meters, he weighed in at 250.2 pounds, 113.5 kilos. Coming to Lil tonight, fighting out of Utrecht, the Netherlands, here is Jafar Wilness. His opponent, fighting out of the white corner, is coming off the fight of the year in 2017 in Rotterdam. His professional record, 31 wins with six losses, 25 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, nine inches tall, 2.05 meters, and he weighed in at 267.6 pounds, 121.4 kilos. He fights tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jamal, the Goliath, Ben Sadi. And once again, your referee is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Good. Good. Will Jamal Ben City get his revenge, or will Jafar Wilness rewind and press play? 
two big heavyweights who promise to stand in the middle of the ring and slug it out. And Sadiq's coming out with hard kicks. Where Jafar Willis is going to counter right back. He doesn't go backwards, so you're going to see him really use his high guard defense, get inside and chop away at, his, at Big Ben Sadiq's legs. What a jab from the Goliath. Boy, Jafar is standing right there in the pocket. Maybe not wise. Another low kick from the Goliath. Can you imagine what that feels like as you sit at home and watch? Six foot nine, 275 pounds. Wilmus is very content at just sitting there blocking his head and, and giving a low kick right back. Punches versus low kicks. In their fight six years ago, Jamal Ben Sadiq won the first round rather easily, but then Wilness began to take over winnings round, winning rounds two and three as he lands a right hand. Yeah, that's that first fight style from Quick. Jafar Wilness. Really getting on the inside, Quick. working the body with his punches and finishing with low kicks. Jafar Wilness also has a sneaky uppercut that he's gonna try to throw. Quick. He's gotta get inside those power kicks and knees Quick. from Jamal. Duck and move there from the big fella. And a big knee. Everything he throws is big. Wilness going back to the low kick. There's Danny DeVree, the trainer for Jafar Wilness. Also trains Jafar's brother, Jason Wilness. We asked Sadiq how he felt after that loss to Rico Verhoeven in December, and he said, I'm not going to lie to you, I cried for days, but now I'm over it, and I'm ready to seek and destroy again against Jafar Wilness, who's on wobbly legs. Yeah, I don't know how Jafar's still standing, but he's blocking really well, and, and he's still not moving backwards. Almost caught Jamal with that overhand right. Wilness has been in there with some of the best. He can take a punch, Joe. Yep, but right now, it's, what Jamal's doing well is he's establishing his jab and then mixing in his right hand or his right knee or his right high kicks. Look at these shots from the Goliath. And there's a right hand from Wilness. And another right that time from Sadiq. Outstanding action between these two heavyweights. Great round one. Good performance, back and forth. But Joe Wilness took Jamal Ben Sadiq's best shots and is still standing. Yeah, and he kept coming forward, walking through it. And there's Jamal Ben Sadiq really trying to establish his jab. Landed a good right hand there. And then, boom, mix up that high kick right to the head. Good mix up, good flow with his combinations. Thank God for Wilness, he blocked it at least partially with his left hand, or he'd be still on the canvas. And Wilness' best here seems to be his right hand and his low kicks. But good job at keeping his hands pinned to his head. And every time you're talking about someone the size of Jamal Ben Sadiq, you've got to wonder, after that type of output, how much does he have left for the final two rounds? Exactly. He's trained really well at Hemmer's gym, puts a lot of rounds in on the pads and in sparring, so definitely well conditioned. He went five with Rico. What? Round two now, and this is where Wilness began to take over in their first fight. And that right hand buckled Sadiq. Yeah, it's his right hand or his low kicks. What a slugfest here in Lil. Nice kick exchange. Body versus legs. You're watching the best stand-up League in the world, glory kickboxing. If you watch their first fight, it was very similar to this. Lots of heavy hands touching each other, big kicks as well. Yeah, Wilness has got to invest into the body as well. And then mix in his uppercuts. When he lets his pan combinations go, they're doing really well. Mixing in that overhand right and body shots and uppercuts. And now Wilness is backing Sadiq up in the corner. Oh, and a straight right from the Goliath. 
Someone's going down here, surely. Break. And finally, a lull in the action for a few seconds. Wilmus not backing down from Jamal's power. Nice combination. Punch to low kick. Well done. Oh, an uppercut missed. Sadiq has thrown 87 total strikes. Wilness has been more selective, but almost as effective, especially in the second round. Break! Break! Heads up! I'm loving that combination. Jab, lead, hook, round kick. There's Nick Hemmers in the corner, giving Jamal bin Sadiq direction and instruction. Big uppercut from Wilness. Yeah, and he just angled out to his right and landed a good exit low kick as well. Sadiq didn't think Wilness would be up for this fight. Didn't think he was going to be on his level. Said, listen, I've grown since six years ago. I've gotten better. Wilness has gotten worse. I'm not sure. You're Wait. right, Todd. I don't know how much power J Jamal Wait. has left. It doesn't take much, though. Right hand from Wilness. And he keeps glancing up to the clock. Half minute to go here in round Break. two. Fight. Jamal was landing some good right knees in the first round. He hasn't really thrown them at all in this run. Remember, whoa, oh, it, our referee took a spinning back fist to the head. Hopefully Paul's okay. It's like the WWE, someone takes out the ref. Oh, and Willness with the right hand as the seconds wind down in round two. And there comes Sadiq back with a right. Willness is staying tight right. with his high guard. What a fight here between these two heavyweights. Good job at Jafar Willness coming back in round two. <laughs> All smiles for Paul, who can say, listen, I took a shot from the Goliath and I'm still standing. There's the shot that buckled. Sadiq to start the second round. Yeah, Sadiq keeps coming forward, but he doesn't have that power as much to slow Jafar Wilness down. And that's why Wilness is able to just keep walking forward. He's doing a better job at landing his boxing, mixing body punches, head punches, and uppercuts. Here he's on the attack with his hands. But especially his low kicks are doing a lot of good damage, and that's the spinning back fist that hit Paul Nichols. Paul Nichols has taken a few shots before, but not from one of the biggest heavyweights on the planet. We might not have to get the, a backup referee in there. But round three, and Joe, we'll see the open scoring in a minute, but I'm assuming Willness won that second round. So three minutes to go here. Indeed he did. Sadiq has to find something digging deep to win this fight. There's that body work and uppercut from Jafar. And down goes the goal. Nichols, one, two, Jafar Wilness has three, put him down. What four, a combination. Five, head, body, six, head, head, body, head. Seven, eight, gloves up, gloves up. Fight. So Sadiq needs a knockdown, or we're going to see one of the biggest upsets of the year so far. Wilness, nearly a seven to one underdog. There's Fight. that uppercut again. He's mixing nice round hooks and then slipping that uppercut. Wilness with one of the best performances of his life. Right. Glory right. let him go, Joe. They right. said maybe he didn't have it anymore. He won a few fights, and now he's back and has been right. Sadiq in big trouble. Yeah, and this makes the heavyweight division extra interesting. We have a new contender. Still a minute 45 to go. Sadiq always one punch away from getting back into it. They may have to stop it. Sadiq's got to get his hands up. He's back in the corner. Break. 90 seconds to go. Danny DeVries urging his fighter, Jafar Wilness, on. No steam in the punches at all for Big Ben. Solid jab and pressure. There's those knees. Right. That Ben Sadiq right. was thrown in the first round. Right. I think he's got to try to use them again. 
because he knows Wilness is coming forward. Fight. If Wilness can hang on, he'll win the fight. Doesn't need to do any more damage, but he'd love to get a knockout. I just love how Jafar is slipping those uppercuts. And there's a one-two from Sadiq, who's trying to find a, another gear, a second win. Blood pouring out of the nose. Love Jamal Ben Sadiq. Mind your head. Mind your head. Fight. Sadiq's got to find a way to get a knockdown. High kick from Wilderness. Chopping right hand. He just keeps cutting them down. Being the shorter guy, he's got to loop them. Break. Ten seconds to go. Upset in the heavyweight division. The man who nearly beat Rico Verhoeven in December has just been beaten by Jafar Wilness. Yeah, you gotta think that's gonna bump Jafar Wilness up. He's number nine in the rankings, so he's gotta get moved up in the rankings. But this was the difference here. Good body work, ripping the body, slipping those uppercuts, and really chopping down with those right hands. Jafar Wilness told us in the fighter interviews he wasn't going to back down. He was going to stand right in front of Jamal Ben Sadiq. And Joe, when he walked out of the room, we both looked at each other and rolled our eyes and said there's no way he's going to do that. Boy, do we feel stupid. Yeah, he just looked really good. I didn't really expect such a great performance from Jafar since we haven't seen him in so long. But the time off and maybe fighting outside of the organization really lit a fire under him. And this couldn't have been a better Welcome back party for Jafar Wilness. Victory number 31, surely for Jafar Wilness. And Jamal Ben City, just like the first fight, won the first round, but Wilness slowly took over. Yeah, pressure, pressure, pressure. The Coliseum Gym style. You'll see it from his brother, Jason Wilness, as well. Very strong, very durable, and amazing pressure fighters. The official decision from Lil France. Jafar Wilness and his team elated. We'll be right back. Highlights from this unreal colli collision between two heavyweights, Joe. Yeah, and that first round was all Jamal Ben Sadiq. Good pressure, mixed up his high kicks really well. You saw him land a lot of good knees as well. That first round was all Ben Sadiq mixing up his strikes, but round two was a little bit more different. We had Jafar Wilness, pressure starting to work, started investing in good body shots, and Big Ben Sadiq couldn't push him back, and that was the key to this fight. Staying close, mixing the body, mixing those uppercuts, and that's how we got this beautiful knockdown in the third round. And credit to Jamal Ben Sadiq. Looked like he was going to be out of this fight, would be stopped, but he stood in there, took the shots, delivered a few of his own, but all the bright lights will now shine on Jafar Wilness, who's returned to glory in the best possible way. Here's our final strike statistics. Look at the punches landed for Wilness. 93 compared to 45 for Sadiq. If you're looking at zones and you can see that impressive work that Jafar Wilness did to the body, 31 punches there, and a lot of good low kicks as well that really slowed down Jamal Sadiq's power and movement. Let's make it official. Tim Hughes in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. All five see the bout and score it the same. 29-27, a unanimous decision for your winner, Jafar Wilness! Let's hear from the winner, Whitney Miller in the ring. Congratulations, you are a big underdog coming in here tonight and wanted to prove that you belong here in glory. Yes. Rate your performance for me because it seems like it was one of your best of your career. Yeah, you know, I uh, just wanted to uh, let the people know that I'm back and I'm ready for everyone. I'm going to train harder and more power, more condition, so I will be ready for everyone, you know? Okay. And
with Jamal, you guys fought six years ago. Was this the same Jamal, or what, what surprised you in him? No, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't surprised. Uh, you know, I know what to uh, ex expect from him, and uh, I uh, I won again. You know, so uh, I'm the better man. Congratulations. We look forward to your glory career. Okay, thank you. Jafar Wilness, win number 30, glory victory number six. And this probably the best you've ever seen from him. Yeah, we, he's had a lot of good improvements with him. So um, what he's doing is working. Uh, he did get caught in his last few fights, so I question how um, his chin is going to hold up. But regardless, he looked good, took Jamal's best power, and got an amazing victory. Jafar Wilness is back.